I was practically put out of the room. So you don't resent your aunt being snubbed and humiliated? Oh, Aunt Lily. Karen is rude to me, and you know it. Karen is very kind to you. Oh. And what's even harder, very patient. Patient with me. When I've worked my fingers to the bone for both of you. Yes, to the bone. To the very bone. Aunt Lily. You've talked about going back to New York for a long time now. It's been years. Oh, I'll never live to play on Broadway again. But you will, Aunt Lily. You will. You can go back to New York. So you want to get rid of me? I'm only trying to give you something you've always wanted. You keep I... talking about the theater and the great new opportunities in television that you're missing. Turning me out. Nice, grateful girl. Oh, how can anybody deal with you? Please do not raise your voice. I shall write to my agents when they have a suitable part for me. I'll... No, I don't think we should wait that long. I'll give you what little money we have now. <laughs> you think I'd take your money? Oh, I'd rather scrub floors first. Well, you'll change your mind after the first floor. Oh, I should have known by this time that the wise thing to do is to stay out of your way when he's in the house. When who's in the house? Don't think you're fooling me, young lady. Any day that he's in the house is a bad day. Now, look. Let's give it up. I'm tired. I've been working since 6 o'clock this morning. I know what I know. You can't stand them being together and you're taking it out on me. Well, God knows what you'll do when they marry. Jealous, jealous. Aunt Lily. You've always had a jealous, possessive nature, even as a child. If you had a friend, you'd be upset if she liked anybody else. And that's what's happening now. And it's unnatural. It's just as unnatural as it can be. The sooner you get out of here, the better. You are making me sick. And I won't stand for you any longer. I want you to leave tomorrow. No delays. What are you doing down here? Oh, we're just going up. Uh, I was going upstairs. We just came down to see how Mary was it. I think you came down to listen deliberately. Uh, oh, we didn't mean to. Now, eavesdropping is something that nice young ladies just don't do. You wait outside in the hall. I'll talk to you later. You should not be around children. When you're at your best, you're not for tender ears. So now it's my fault, is it? Well, you'd better look to yourself and not continue to blame me for everything. What's the matter with the Duchess? 